Hey guys, it's Pastor Sam, and today I have a question for you that has really been bothering me all week. Earlier this week, I saw a show in which a guy had a table set in front of him with all of this food, and he grabbed the tablecloth and pulled it right out from under the food, and everything stayed on the table. Have you seen that before? I really want to know how to do that. So today, we're going to do an experiment to see if we can figure that out. Experiments do one of three things. They help us to discover something brand new, they help demonstrate or show us something that people already know to be true, and they answer a question, how. So today we're gonna answer the how question. How did he do that, and can we do it too? Let's try it out. You guys, I don't know what to do. I keep trying and this stuff keeps falling down and I just can't do it like they do it on TV. So do you think it's a TV thing or do you think it's actually science? You know, sometimes in science when we do experiments, things don't work out the first time. So I'm gonna do what scientists do. I'm gonna do some research and see if anyone has done this experiment before and see what I can learn and then we'll try it out again later. Two hours later. All right, you guys, I think I have figured it out. I haven't tried it. I waited for you before trying it, but I'm pretty sure I know how to do this experiment. So I have brought one of my favorite Sabbath breakfasts here. I have homemade waffles. I have some strawberries to put on top of the waffles. I even brought some syrup to add on top of the waffle because that's really the only way to eat waffles on Sabbath morning. I don't know what you had for breakfast, but I hope it was great. I also brought some bananas, some almond milk, and of course, my fork and knife. And now we're gonna see if I can rip this tablecloth straight out from under this stuff, or if I'm not gonna have breakfast this morning. You ready to try it out? Cause I am, let's do it. So as you saw from the beginning, my experiment didn't really work out. And there's a couple reasons why it worked the last time and not the first thousand times that I tried it. And one reason is because of what I was using for a tablecloth. So the first few times you saw I was using a white sheet. And if you can see here, if you look really closely, this sheet has a hem at the end of what I was using as a tablecloth. That means they took the cloth, they folded it over and they sewed it so it's a really nice hem right here. But you don't want to use something like this if you're going to try the whip the tablecloth off the table trick because this will catch on stuff and then pull it off the table like you saw. Another thing you saw me doing was you saw me pull the tablecloth right and left and up and down. You don't want to do that. Instead, what you want to do is get a tablecloth like this. It doesn't have to be shiny. This is just what I found. And you want to make sure you use something that has no hem. So you'll see some threads sticking out or you'll see just the raw edge of the cloth. That's really important to make sure that this experiment works. The second thing you want to do is you don't want to be pulling the tablecloth right and left, up and down. You want to grab it from the sides and you want to pull downwards as fast as possible. The first time that I used this tablecloth, I did not pull down fast enough. So you have to pull downwards on the tablecloth as fast as possible and then it'll work. Now we know that it's not just the type of tablecloth that kept these items here. The reason why these stayed is of course because of science. Sir Isaac Newton describes this as the first law of motion. And what he says is that objects that are still, like our food right here, will stay still unless a force acts upon them to move. And in this case, even though I was pulling this tablecloth, the force of me pulling the tablecloth down and really fast was not enough to overcome the force of gravity that was pulling these items down. So even though I whipped the tablecloth off really fast and I made sure that I used something with no hem, these things, though they shifted a little, did not fall off the table because the force of the gravity pulling the food down was a lot stronger than me pulling the tablecloth out from under the food. And I'm so glad because I'm really hungry this morning. So why are we talking about Sir Isaac Newton and the first law of motion this morning? 
Well, it's because when I saw the whip the tablecloth off the table trick, it reminded me of something people sometimes say. They say, I had the rug pulled out from under me. And if you can imagine, if you're standing on a rug and it's pulled out from under you, you're probably gonna fall down and it's not gonna be a very nice surprise. And sometimes in life, we have the rug pulled out from under us. Especially now in this season, sometimes people we love pass away or things that we expect will happen don't or other hard things happen in our lives that pull the rug out from under us. And that can be so hard and so discouraging. But one thing to remember is, as you saw in the very last experiment, when I pulled the tablecloth out from under the food, the food stayed. And the reason was because of the gravity pulling it down. And one thing for us to remember is that if we will choose to believe in and trust God, it doesn't mean that bad things won't happen. Sometimes the rug or the tablecloth will still be pulled out from under us. But the thing that is so great is that we have a powerful God who promises that even when things in our lives change and they're difficult, He will hold us steady. In fact, we have a promise that this moment when hard things happen is not all that there is. Revelation 21 verse 4 tells us that one day God will wipe every tear from our eyes and there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. That means that even though Jesus hasn't come yet, even though we're still waiting for him, if we will trust in him, when the rug or the tablecloth is pulled out from under us in our lives, our God promises to hold us steady. And he promises that we can look not just at this moment that's hard, but at the big picture of things. And remember that Jesus says he will come soon. And when he comes, all of those hard things, the old order of things that has us flying off left and right will one day pass away and he will hold us steady in his arms forever. So if it's a hard time, remember that God is there holding you close always. And because of his love, we can trust him and remain steady no matter what we experience.